Hey guys, it's Liddy here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this awesome Pure Gear Laser Storm L5 laser. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so this video is going to be very similar to all of my other laser reviews, but again, it's a different laser. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of the similar things that I do in my other videos. I test the engraving and the cutting, um, but this video I'm not setting up the laser in Lightburn because there are a lot of other more useful videos out there on how to do that. And this video I really just want to cover the actual laser. And actually later in the video I do add this sweet enclosure to it. Um, I talk about that a little bit in the video. It's just a simple um, lightweight portable enclosure that's really nice to add to your lasers. So I decided to use it in this video. Um, I will have a link to both the, the laser and the enclosure down below in the description like I always do for each review. Um, this laser mostly engraves a lot of things. It doesn't really have a wide range of material that it can cut and you'll see that later here in the video. Before we engrave, I want to mention that this laser is a 5 watt laser um, and it's uh, the build area is very similar to most other lasers that I've reviewed. It is actually 400 by 410 millimeters area that you can work with um, and it has a really cool protective shield on it. I am not doing a build video for this, I'm just starting with the laser already assembled and then go from there. Uh, so let's jump right in and start cutting and engraving. So, so far we have it set up here and I just have this honeycomb underneath here with another piece of wood just to protect the table and then we have our material that I'm going to um, cut and engrave. So there's this uh, semi clear transparent black piece of acrylic and you use this to actually um, level your laser to your material. So you slide it underneath and then you use this tool, um, Allen wrench, to unscrew and loosen these. There's two of these screws here and then you lower it or raise it to just sit on top of this acrylic and then tighten it up and then pull your acrylic out. And now I'm going to turn on the laser just um, with the fire button in light burn and line up the corner of the material and then run an engraving. Now I'm going to start this engraving at 2,500 millimeters per minute at 100% power. As you can see, it did go through it a little bit, but obviously not enough. Probably should have let it go um, more passes, but I'm going to scale it up a little bit bigger on this piece of wood and then do the same exact thing, engrave it, and then cut it out with a couple more passes. Alright, so as you can see, it cut out and it actually engraved very, very well. Again, this was at 100 power, 2,500 millimeters per minute engraved. Um, so I think it's a perfect color. Um, I probably should have created a little bit more of a border instead of cutting directly on the image, but it turned out really well. And again, 300 millimeters per minute with three passes um, worked pretty great. Now this did create a lot of smoke, so for the next couple things I'm going to put an enclosure over the machine, um, but this engraving and cut turned out perfect. So this is the enclosure that I will be using. This thing is pretty cool. Um, it is very lightweight and it's really easy to build. It just comes with some tubes that you can kind of see here. They go all the way around to make a frame. Um, it's super lightweight and it even has a protective cover here so you can close it up. And as well as you can see over there is a little vent that does have a filter on it. However, you can hook up a fan to it to lead it out um, with a tube outside or in a filter system. Um, this thing is super lightweight as you can see. 
and it's very portable so you can throw it over any laser um, this laser again is 400 millimeters by 410 millimeters that's the engraved area so the build area is a little larger which this fits over that size of laser so I'm gonna run this next engraving cut on some MDF in here that's already set up and then I will close up the enclosure and um, see how well it goes okay so as you can see it has finished now it did actually not cut through I'm not really sure if the settings were just too slow or what there was a lot of burning and there was a tiny flame that I could see while trying to cut um, but as you can see the engraving turned out really really nicely so I'm gonna do another cut on the side just a square to see what settings I need to use to be able to cut through this I believe it's about an eighth inch MDF um, so we're gonna change the settings up here and then try so it. as you can see I did another test this one was at 200 millimeters per minute and it didn't do anything the next thing that we're gonna try to cut and engrave is this leather here if you watched my last review you know I did some tests on this as well um, a lot of people like using these lasers for leather so I'm going to test this one So it looks like with this leather, it almost cut it out, and that was at five passes at 400 millimeters per minute. I'm sure I just have to add a couple more passes or slow it down a little bit, but it's it's pretty decent. And then the engraving is at 3600 millimeters per minute with again 100 power. Um, it's pretty cool. It isn't perfect but it looks pretty good overall testing out black acrylic this is at 300 millimeters per minute with five passes 100 power and if you watch any of my other reviews you know that cutting acrylic with these machines can be easy as long as it is a dark acrylic like this black acrylic definitely don't uh, try doing a clear or a lighter color because you will not have any success so it did cut so you can see and then pops right out. So five passes is definitely the amount that you want to go. This is the last material I want to test. Now this is, I believe, an eighth inch plywood, and this is the stuff that you get at the hardware store. So this is very dense, and it's not light wood or anything. It's real heavy, um, thin plywood. So I'm gonna try and cut this with five passes at 300 millimeters per minute. I cut, as you can see here, I cut that um, on the Ortor Laser Master 2 Pro, so I know that can cut it. Um, however, that did have an air assist, so that might be why I cut it so well. So we're going to see if this laser can successfully cut this um, thicker material and see how well it does it. So it just finished, and as you can see, I can't pop it out. Um, so I'm going to keep adding passes and see how well... Um, that goes. So even with eight passes, you can tell this laser cannot cut this thick material. Alright guys, that is it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This laser is pretty cool. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video and as you can see throughout the testing process of each material, that this laser is focused more for engraving things, which is just fine because a lot of people just like to personalize things, so this laser is perfect for that especially that it can engrave leather that's really awesome even though you can't cut it out you can still do an outline of something to help you hand cut it out later um, if that's what your project needs it's really nice that it does cut out um, the thin plywood because you can still use that for um, projects craft projects and you can also always double cut something out if you need it to be thicker I've done that in the past with other lasers to create my dog leash hangers I used to have to cut two pieces out instead of one because the material wasn't thick enough. So just because this laser can't cut a whole lot of materials, there's always a way around it. And it's still a great laser, especially for a beginner. It was really easy to connect to the computer. And like most of these lasers and anything you use with Lightburn, it's really easy to navigate and learn how to do it. I would suggest joining the Lightburn uh, Facebook group on Facebook. I have joined that a long time ago and if I have any questions with any laser, most people can help you out. 
Even though these lasers may not be very well known, they're very similar build um, and uh, work quality as a lot of these other lasers that, as you guys know, I've reviewed are very similar to this specific laser. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. If the comments turn off, um, you can shoot me a message on a different video. I know this has happened a couple of times. Not really sure why they keep getting shut off, but if you need any help, you can also message me on Instagram or even on my Etsy or Twitter. Um, and please check out my Etsy uh, shop down below in the description. I've really um, been trying to build more on that website. I haven't been getting very many sales through the website. Um, I've I just got into my house, as you guys know uh, from the other video, and I'm really getting back into production of custom products for people. So please, please go sh um, check out the Etsy shop or just message me personally if you need anything custom. Really, I can do anything if you come up with something, even 3D printed parts. If you need a part for a laser, let me know. I do that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope to see you in the next one, and stay safe. Bye.